place, we're at the Volkswagen booth where they have three vehicles that you cannot buy. They're all concepts. They're, yep, all concepts. This one is probably the closest, I mean, you could technically do this to your Atlas if you had a lot of money and wanted to drop another engine in You it? probably could, and <laughs> uh, the Volkswagen CEO was actually talking earlier today, and he says that they might do something similar to this for, for actual production car, okay. uh, but not this exactly. It would probably be more toned down. All right, so this is the Atlas Base Camp, and basically what it is is it's a trail-ready Volkswagen Atlas. We got huge BF Goodrich KO2s. There's a uh, lift kit on it. It's yep. actually a 1.5 inch lift over, yeah. over a normal Atlas, uh, off-road wheels, and then of course you have the massive light bar on the top to see for the trails. Throw some bikes, whatever you have up there. And uh, if you check out the pictures on the site, actually, they have this really awesome trailer that they hitch up to it that you can take over landing and sleep in. And you basically live out of that. There's a toilet, there's a shower, do whatever in it. Yeah. So. so inside, it looks pretty much like a normal Atlas. Uh, got some muddy buddy uh, floor mats to you know keep things clean. There really isn't much uh, other than just like a normal Atlas in here. Uh, all, all the good stuff and money was spent in the suspension and all the cool off-roading accessories yeah. that you get with it. I do love the panoramic sunroof, and if you look in the back, there is <laughs> there's like a cage, so there's that. I did not notice that in the last Atlas I had in the press fleet, yeah, no, so that is also an add-on. That's definitely not normal at all. What do you think about this concept? I think that, you know, it's almost a, an oxymoron. Like, the Atlas itself is a unibody SUV, like it's not uh, like like the Touareg was, you know, the, the, the Touareg was a real off-roading machine. This thing, you know, it's it's kind of halfway there. Yeah. It, it's cool that, that Volkswagen is doing this because people love this whole rugged look, yeah. rugged life, you know, they, they, they want a car that looks like this and this is definitely more capable than a, a normal Atlas, but it's only halfway there for me. Right, and like why would you spend all this money to do something like this to this vehicle when you can just buy a vehicle? out there that has that key. Exactly, you could buy a Jeep, you know, something yeah. that, you know, can really, really hit the, hit the trails well. And right. Yeah, no, this is, you know, it, it, obviously there's a lot more luxury in yeah. in this thing, but, you know, it, to do what you want to do is, with this kind, of vehicle, this kind of vehicle, it's just not totally up to snuff, I'd say. All right, well, next to us is a vehicle that probably could fit on this roof rack, to be honest. They call it the VW ID Buggy. It's built on Volkswagen's new MEB platform, which is their modular electric platform. So it's going to underpin pretty much all of the smaller Volkswagens, even, even up to a little bit larger crossovers as well. And, uh, and they put this body on it, uh, which, you know, absolutely gorgeous. And it's just beyond words cool. This thing can go top speed 99 miles per hour. I would love to go 99 miles per hour. 99 Honestly. miles per hour, it's rear wheel drive right now. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they said that uh, they could put a motor up front to make it all wheel drive, which would be great if you decide to go rock crawling like this one is uh, apparently doing, twirling around on the stand here. But uh, you have that, you have zero to 62 in 7.2 seconds, yep. about 200 horsepower, a little bit more torque than that. Uh, the entire interior is waterproof. So you can just take a hose to it after you're done rolling through the sand dunes or hitting the mud and wash it all out. Like a lot of uh, all their new ID cars, you have the play and pause pedals there. So for you hit the gas and it's a play symbol and pause, it's a, the brake. That's cool. Yep. It's a cool little touch they've done on all their EV concepts that they've had thus far. All right, so we went from a unibody, off-road, trail-ready, SUV to an electric buggy. Let's move on to a compact truck. So this one is called the Tayrock Concept. And this isn't the first time the Volkswagen showed it actually. They brought it down to Sao Paulo and they, they showed it in the International Motor Show there. They're actually going to build a production version of it in Brazil. But Volkswagen brought it to the US 
to uh, judge and gauge interest for the American market for a, uh, a pickup this size. And they're actually pretty serious about it. And this actually has some really great features if you're gonna go out camping and uh, I guess rough it. Without uh, any of the cool gadgets all deployed, it's a four foot bed, which is pretty small for pickup standards. You know, it, even the, the smallest beds on the market are five feet. Yeah, that's what uh, the Gladiator has and that felt like a little short. That's pretty short. And this one's pretty small too, but you can see from right here, that uh, you can actually see right into the interior because it has this awesome uh, feature where you can drop down the rear seats. The panel that connects the bed to the interior also drops down and it adds about a foot and a half of bed space right there. That so, is, you know, as long as you're okay with uh, a little bit of the environment coming into the interior with you. The camping test. So you could, I'm 5'7", I'm so, you know, Shaquille O'Neal's not gonna be comfortable in here. But I can lay down in here, and if you close the bed, and there's a cover here, you could just like sleep. Yeah, there you go. You could totally just sleep in the bed of your truck if you're out camping. Uh, and even if you put this down, there's room for somebody that's that, over six feet just too. Look at how massive look at how that huge looks. Yeah. This is right here. That is so, just ginormous. I like it a lot. Um, Volkswagen is going to be sharing the next generation Ranger platform, yes. uh, which is obviously bigger than this. Um, but that's also something to think about too, that this might actually be something we see on roads, you know, in the next few years. So they would go for a market with, with this kind of a truck. Yeah. Um, and it, as far as powertrains go, it's really a mixed bag right now. This one has the 1.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder. Uh, it only makes 147 horsepower, so that's not a whole lot. Two liter turbocharged engine that Volkswagen has, you know, something like 220 to 250 horsepower, yeah. a lot of torque. I think that people would really dig that in this truck. So we hop inside this truck and uh, it really doesn't uh, look too much like a concept. You know, you have some, some crazy colors here with all this blue, yeah. but the actual like switch gear and uh, like uh, all the electronics, pretty normal Volkswagen right here. You know, it's not it's not crazy, you know, I, out there. It's a normal infotainment system. You have the digital cockpit in the dash, uh, normal Prindle. Uh, you have some drive modes here, some off-road modes, snow mode. Uh, yeah, you know, all the things that you would uh, expect in a truck that has some off-road aspirations for the American market. You know, right. if, if there's two of you, you can pack the back seat full of stuff or roll down the back seat and fill the bed with it. There's a whole lot of opportunities here for some adventuring uh, for uh, a smaller party, I'd say.